Hey friends, it is me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm actually going to be doing my recent reads number three, I believe. Um, I have a stack of books here that I've read over the past maybe two months or so, and it's finally time that I talk about them. So the first three books I have on this list are all rereads. <laughs> I was in a weird mood and I decided I wanted to reread all all these. So the first book I reread was Every Heart of Dory by Shonda McGuire. Um, I reread this because I want to finish the series or continue on in the series this year. And so I wanted to reread the first one to kind of re-spark my memory of everything that happened that sparks the rest of the books. So upon this reread, I definitely still think this is a five star read. I love this so much. I feel like on the reread, my eyes were open to a lot more things that like kind of allude to the rest of the books which I found really interesting and I just really love Shannon McGuire's writing in this series in this book and her characters and her storytelling is just so so good so I'm really glad that I was able to reread this again next I reread I wish you all the best by Mason Deaver um, I was just kind of in a mood and I just was craving to reread this i don't know why um but i really enjoyed the reread as well with this one i think i loved ben's found family i think that's what made me love this book so much was the, the support system that they ended up finding by the end of the book it was just so amazing to me that I loved it. And then, of course, I did a reread of one of my favorites, which is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I'm gonna try and reread the series this year, so I gotta move on to the second one eventually. But again, this was just so good. It's such a good series to me, and I love it so much. You can see all my tabs and how obsessed I am with this series, so couldn't resist. Now, onto the books that I did not reread. So the first book that I did not reread <laughs> was uh, Tokyo Ever After by Miko Jean. So I read this in November with Chanel for her crusty book club. Yeah. So um, I give this, I think, five stars. I thought it was really adorable. I really loved the characters and the story. And just how the author went about like telling the story, I just thought it was really adorable and cute and very good. Um, it's about a girl who discovers that her father is the prince of Japan. And so she ends up being whisked to Japan to kind of learn this lifestyle and get to know her father. I think her dad was one of my favorite characters overall because I didn't know what to expect. And it gave me uh, What a Girl Wants vibes where like she meets her dad. It's very tense at first, but then he easily just like, I don't want to say he morphs into the role of dad, but he like shows her like, I care. Like I would have been there. We would have we would have had a relationship. I would not have rejected you. Like you're my you're my kid, and that's that. And so I like love that so much. And I thought her relationship with um, the love interest was really funny and witty. And I liked the tension and just the way their friendship developed before anything else was just so authentic to me and real. And I enjoyed that. Um, her family was definitely interesting. They were very chaotic and eclectic, so that's definitely a thing. If you're looking for a very heartwarming read, I think this is a good one to pick up. I know it, it has a sequel coming out this year. I don't really know how I feel about that because I feel like it ended on a pretty decent note for this. So I don't know if I want to pick up the sequel because... I don't know if, I won't, if it's going to mess up my feeling of contentment or not. <laughs> so we'll see, I guess. So, Lost and Found Sisters by Jill Shalvis. Um, she's kind of like a cozy romance author to me to read. I really like her storytelling and her characters. Um, this is about a woman who finds out that she's adopted. And then she finds out that she actually has a younger sister. And her adopted mom just died. So she kind of has to step in and take over as guardian for her sister um because she's still in high school and so i really like this because the it's the main character you really see her kind of grow and i liked seeing the connection between her and her sister um 
like solidify and then she ends up meeting a guy too and I really liked their relationship because I thought it was pretty adorable and honestly like the tension was good so I love that um, if definitely if you're looking for like a good beach read vibe this is I think one I would recommend as well next I read the storm crow by Kaylin Josephson this is part of a secret video that I'm doing um, and I finally finished this so I'm super happy I bought this like a book um, this was a four star I think yeah four star read for me um, it's about a girl who ends up um, having to save her kingdom because it was like torn apart from by a neighboring kingdom and it was definitely intriguing I liked the way the story played out it wasn't cliche which I really enjoyed um, I'm gonna once my secret video posts you'll see more of my thoughts on there so I'm not gonna talk too much about this because it's gonna basically be me repeating myself um, but I am intrigued to see what happens in the second book because this one ended on a really intense note um and the one thing i will say about this is that there isn't a love triangle like i thought there would be she's supposed to be married off to this prince um and i liked that they never actually had a romantic connection it was just like a friendship almost a tentative one um and she actually ends up falling for someone else so i kind of enjoyed that that was like a different way of telling the story because I feel like most of the time when this happens the girl and the prince end up falling in love and then they have to defeat the kingdom and all that kind of stuff so I liked that this was like a different route to that. Okay, the last book I have to talk about is The House of the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. I think I also gave this four stars. Um, I enjoyed it for the most part. I think if it had just been Lionel's story I would have been bored out of my mind because Lionel was very boring um, but I think the things that helped the story were the kids and then um, the island itself like that part of the story very uh, kept me interested and intrigued enough to keep reading um, otherwise it was just like okay it was definitely a, um, like a contemporary fantasy and it was definitely slow going so I think that was like the hardest part for me to read this book but overall I liked it um I'm definitely willing to read another TJ Klune it might be a bit though if all of his books are this slow <laughs> I might have to take a break in between but um yeah for the most part I liked it um glad I finally finished it because I had been reading it for a while <laughs> so yeah all right so those are my books that I have recently read um, I'm going to try to do these more often so my books don't accumulate. And yeah. So if you liked the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave all that in the comment section down below. If you're not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and see leave me an emoji. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are awesome vloggers in a world full of weeds.